In this video, I'm going to be answering the question of how long you should spend practicing technical exercises at the piano. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to first define what I mean by technical exercises, and then I'm going to just answer the question. And then after that, I'm going to give you four key concepts that you need to understand because just taking the answer itself I feel like is not as helpful. So first of all, what I mean by technical exercises are scales, arpeggios, or scale or, or arpeggio routines, or any kind of etudes or studies where you're working on a particular kind of technique, okay? So whether it be double thirds or whatever it is. So now let's go ahead and jump right into the answer. And the answer is that technical exercises should not be more than 30 to 35, 40% of your total amount of practice time. What that might look like, say for me, is if I practice for three hours a day, that's what I shoot for, then I don't really wanna practice technical exercises for any longer than about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And obviously, if your practice time is shorter, say 45 minutes, then that's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes of technical exercises, and then the rest is going to be spent on other things. And there's a couple of reasons why we want to do this. The first thing is that technique takes time to develop. And if we try to focus too much on it, that that's literally the only thing we do, we might get good at that one thing. But a lot of times what's gonna happen is we're just gonna get burnt out and we're gonna get frustrated because we're not gonna see the results come in as fast as we want to because again, it just takes time. And the other thing is we're going to be neglecting everything else at the keyboard, whether it's sight reading, learning repertoire, etc. So I definitely recommend that 30 to 40%, which is the absolute most you wanna spend on technical exercises. Now, like I mentioned, there are four key concepts that we need to discuss and understand. The first one is the more you practice your technique, the better it will be. Now, this is really important to understand and seems really, really obvious, but it's important to mention because there's a little caveat attached to this, and that is the second key concept, which is you'll only get better at that technique if you're practicing with good form. And the way I like to think about this is that when you, uh, say, lift weights, what people say is that you wanna make sure that you have good form with every rep you do. If you start having bad form, then the, that weightlifting exercise is not gonna be particularly helpful. And it's the same thing with the piano, okay? If I'm tired or I'm not really focused and I'm not thinking about what I'm doing and I'm extending my wrists, I'm sort of slouching, etc. So we need to make sure that we have good form when we practice that particular technique. Then the third key concept we have to understand and it's important to think about is to not obsess over any one thing. The piano is not a one dimensional instrument and learning the piano is multifaceted, okay? So we don't wanna only focus on like sight reading, obsess about sight reading for five years and then we'll be an amazing sight reader but our technique is bad and our performing is terrible too. So it's important to not you know, obsess over you know, uh, double thirds or repeated notes or octave technique or any one of those things and what I like to do, what I tell my students, is we're gonna focus on one key aspect for a little while and then switch to something else and kind of cycle through things. And overall, we're gonna continue working those things, but we're not going to obsess over any one thing. We're not gonna sit there and practice it for like 20 hours a day because that's generally not gonna help anything. It's just going to be discouraging. Make sure that you are trying to develop everything equally, which is the best way to have really, really good technique. And then the last key concept that I wanna mention, which I already kind of alluded to, is that technical development takes time, okay? Just because you spend eight hours a day practicing double thirds does not necessarily mean that those double thirds are instantly going to get better. I did say that the more we practice those things, our technique, the better it will be. And this is true, but it also just takes time. In the same way that muscles are very slowly developed, and even if you're hitting the gym 
for a couple hours each day, it's still going to take time to build those muscles. And we can actually overdo things when we're starting to learn how to have good form when playing octaves or double thirds. And if we do that too much in the beginning, it can actually have a negative resu result. So it's really important to remember specifically the whole idea of good form when we practice technique and then this last one that I mentioned, which it just takes time. So when you're working on your technique, when you're practicing, it's really important to remember these key things. And again, shoot for that 30 to 35% of your total practice time. And I think you'll be on a great track to develop your technique. So I hope you found this video useful and informative. Make sure and leave a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.